Now starts with breaking news. We were called about uh, 5.30 today for a critical missing. Uh, bus driver dropped him off and then uh, that was the last time seen. It's breaking right now at 10. The search is underway in Westchester for a missing boy. Thanks for joining us. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. This seven-year-old boy, Joshua L. Thief Jr., he was last seen around his home near Wintree Lane at about 5.30 earlier tonight. Westchester police say he is nonverbal and autistic. The search for him has now expanded throughout parts of Westchester, so we want to get right out to Chancellor Wynn for the very latest. Yeah, so we are live here at Lakefront at Westchester. This is the apartment complex where Joshua Altif, he's that seven-year-old child who went missing again around 5.30 when he got off the school bus. Now, police tell us that he is autistic, and the school officials have been talking to police as well. They've also been taking part in these search efforts, but they say he's also nonverbal. So they're actually asking people, if you do come across Joshua, to just approach him with kindness, be very inviting, and also offer him aid. As you can imagine, with the temperatures out here, they're plummeting, they're getting very cold, it's been sleeping on and off and we're not hundred percent sure what type of clothes Joshua might be wearing we know he was possibly wearing a tan shirt tan jacket and possibly wearing red black and white Nike Air Jordan high tops those would be his shoes now these search efforts they're extensive because this is really a critical situation here and I can tell you there are over a hundred different responders out here including multiple different agencies some of the things that are very interesting is there's technical rescue teams out here they've been using drones utilizing those drones trying to find heat sensors throughout this search area. As we heard, it started here at this apartment complex, but has expanded to within miles of this area, and they're trying to hopefully get those heat sensors to narrow down those areas where they're going to be searching at. Now, again, I did mention that the police and the school officials, teachers, principals are taking part in these search efforts, and here's what police said is so critical about having the teachers involved. He is seven years old. Uh, he is uh, four feet tall and weighs about 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, his teachers are here on the scene from Lakota Schools and his principal. Uh, they tell us he is nonverbal. Uh, he might run away from people if you see him. What we are asking residents to do and business owners is to check your property. I really want to re-emphasize the ideas of approaching Joshua Altif. If you do see him, he is nonverbal, so approach him with kindness. Be very inviting. Offer him aid. Uh, they, the police do tell us that there's a chance that he could be shedding some clothing if he was wet. We do know he really likes parks. He likes ponds and waters. I can tell you that police and search teams have searched the lakes right here on this property. They've been searching the, the banks of those lakes, looking for signs as if somebody, Joshua, will, would have entered into that body of water. Right now, they have not had any signs of that happening so they have not started searching or diving into those lake areas but with the sleet and these cold temperatures if he was wet they think he might have gotten discarbed some of his clothing items so really just that friendly inviting offering him aid offering him a jacket just try to be accepting of him and that's really what's going to help him kind of come towards you i can tell you right before 10 o'clock maybe 9 57 9 58 we did see teams gathering actually right behind me in front of this command center here the butler county sheriff's office emergency management agency bus that's right there and they were sectioning these groups of people off into smaller groups with police officers school officials and search efforts and search responders as well they sectioned them off and they sent them out to to walk within the surrounding areas of this apartment complex and they're kind of breaking them into four different quadrants trying to isolate these search efforts and make sure nobody's searching the same area twice because they're really trying to expand as much as they can as you heard he was miss went missing and last seen when he got off the bus around 5 30 so we're really into this about four and a half hours or so so there's a lot of concern and a lot of urgency in searching for joshua altif now if you do come across him if you see him on your property your backyard if you have water on your property check those areas as well uh, i can tell you that please are asking to call the dispatch number. I'm going to give it to you slowly. 513-777-2231. Again, that's the dispatch number that they're asking to call if you think you have any information or spot him. That phone number one more time is 513-777-2231. Three, one. But of course, we're going to be out here as well as the search teams. They're going to be out here all throughout the night, continuing to search with them until Joshua is found. But for now, we're putting live in Westchester with photojournalist Philip Krinsky. I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Thanks, Chance.